in St. Bernard Parish, voters there also went to the polls to vote for a new parish president. And this morning, that search continues. WDSU News reporter Heath Allen tells us about the two men voters chose to go head to head in the runoff. There will be a new parish president here in St. Bernard, but it'll take another four weeks before we know just exactly who that person is. There is a runoff in the parish president's race. Running first, former council member Wayne Landry. He had 32% of the vote, and if you might expect a pretty happy campaign headquarters as the announcements were made. A lot of cheering going on for the former councilman, and he says he is ready for the runoff. I think right now the parish is ready for somebody who's qualified to come in and, and take over the parish and, and actually bring it into the and put it on the right track. You know, we have the, the expertise to do that. That's what I do. And I think the people of St. Bernard recognize that. Running second, but certainly in the runoff, it's a whole new race is council member, present council member Guy McKinnis. Again, another exuberant campaign headquarters, and he too is ready for four weeks more of campaigning. And everyone cares about St. Bernard Parish. And I think that's shined through. And, uh, you know, we're going to reach out to them. And we're going to put forward our campaign for the next four weeks, and I'm looking forward to it. So the, the personal problems, the legal problems faced by the incumbent, Dave Peralta, pretty much signaled an end to his term. There will be a new parish president here in St. Bernard. Again, it'll take another month before we know just exactly who that is. In Chalmette, Heath Allen.